Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Thoughts and More, a space where we learn about life and lifestyles and we all grow together. So today we are planning to do a read tutorial, especially based off the fall weather. Uh, Prisha, what's your favorite weather? Um, I like fall. You like fall? Mm-hmm. What, what, what about the fall? What is it in the fall weather that you like the most? Um, I like, I just like the weather and I like how the leaves change different colors and it falls and I like Halloween. And you like Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. And, and pumpkin like spice latte? <laughs> yeah. And I also like the decorations. Yes. Well, my favorite weather is also fall. I love the fall season, especially in the morning, early morning when you get up and the weather is crisp and cold and you have a hot cup of Indian chai. Delightful. And of course, the fall leaves, the colors changing, the nature showing its own different kind of the colors. It's fascinating. There are so many things from the nature that we can learn about, right? Just look at the fall weather. Think about it, like all these different colors, just like different shades of your emotions, letting it go, and then the giving the space for the new things to come up, letting go of the negative ideas, the negative thoughts, any negative experiences, it's all meant for the new thoughts to come up, giving way to the new things, the new positive things in the life too, right? Yes? Okay. So, enough of the talking. Let's go back on our read making. So, let's start with what all things we need for the read making. And please do watch the video till the end because I'll keep on explaining the tips and the tricks that will be really helpful for you. And this read making is an easy one because we are not going to use any glue or hot glue or anything. So easy peasy, right Risha? Yeah. Okay, so show us what all we need. So the first thing you're going to need is a read ring. Yes. You can get this type or the green foam ones. Yeah, so the green foam ones are the style foam ones that you can get in the store. And or you can get these read rings. Um, this one we got it from the Dollar Tree. So actually... Um, you can find something like this in the Dollar Tree and I will go on when we are talking about all the stuff that we need I'll keep on telling you about the quality and all too so yes definitely you can get these ones are good ones that you can use from the Dollar Tree and then what else Prisha? Um, you're gonna need these tools yeah. and they're different colors okay yes so the tools that we are doing is um, actually this the inspiration of this came from the fall decor that I have done at home um, and the sunflowers that we put on the flower vase inspired us to do this read, right Prisha? Yep. Okay, so talking about the tools, right? Um, these are the tools I don't remember where I got from, some kind of the art and craft store, I guess I got it. The material of this is really nice. And this one, interestingly, uh, I found this one on the Dollar Tree, but um, uh, this one it says like decorative mesh, uh, craft a square but this one it uh, the the unique thing of it was that it said glow in the dark so that's why i got it but i would not suggest getting the tools from the dollar tree because i didn't like the texture of it it's kind of hard when we start bringing it up you can see it but mm, i would rather pay a little bit more and get something nice and soft from the um, any art and craft store so we got these so these three are the ones that we are going to use right prisha yep and what else we need so you're going to need these scissors. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need the scissors and then these tubes. The best part, number one tip, uh, tip sorry. <laughs> number one tip is whatever, you, whatever tools you want to use, it's easier if you cut them and keep them in a bundle and be ready. So then it becomes easy. I'm, what I mean is don't keep cutting and making, keep cutting and making instead. Mm, cut all these tools like how we have done, right Prisha? Like yeah. we have, uh, yes, we, all the colors that we needed, we have kept it here and then it's so easy to build it. One more thing, another tip, right? Number two tip. Number two tip is if you want a very precise, very clean looking wreath, right? Then use a cardboard like this. And I'll show you in a minute why we are needing the cardboard. But since we were using uh, sunflower as our theme, flowers and all, you see the 
petals and everything it's not perfectly fine nature has its own flaws and that makes it more beautiful right so we decided to use uh, these length of the tools on our just guesstimate right but if you are doing a tool uh, wreath for a wedding or like i said if you want to do it for a like a precise look then the best thing is prisha take this tube put it on a cardboard like this and say suppose you want to have the length of the tool like this right like you want your tools to come like this you start wrapping them on the cardboard right and then once you have got the desired thickness or however number of the tools you want you just take them off you cut from the scissors and then you have the whole length of the tools ready now this can make either you can have a if you cut from both the end then you will have the smaller tools or if you just cut from one end then you have the long tools and you know that your flowers actually will have this kind of the length so hopefully this makes sense right okay so now comes the part of beginning the thing right so another tip number 3 depending on the width of your ring right like where well, you can add these petals or i mean like tulip petals to each one of the ring right here so you will have four rings here or the best utilization of your time effort and everything is put tulips on two of those rings we are doing this because we are making the two tiers of the flowers flower patterns basically right mm -hmm. so show me please show how will you make the thing so there's two ways that you can make this mm -hmm. one is that you can take your tool strip mm -hmm. and you can make it in half mm -hmm. and you keep your finger in the hole right then what you do is you put your hole no, in no, no, here okay two after two oh yeah mm -hmm. right here and then you come up mm -hmm. and you take the ending strips into the hole in that loop right yeah mm -hmm. and then you just pull it right and that's one way you can do it mhm mm another way you can do it is you can just take it mhm mm and you put it through the hoop mhm mm and then you just tie it like you're starting off a shoelace and then you do the same thing again and that's another way that, yeah because you need to take it off yes so these are the two ways now you can do whichever way you want to make the wreaths but here comes the trick or the tip number 3 i personally like to do it this way why because whenever you want to upcycle your wreath it is helpful or whenever you want to recycle your wreath it's so easy to take them off right also the other thing is can you take this one off prisha yeah thank you sweetie and the other thing is when you do the loop and then do the crossover of it it kind of covers up the wire a little better so the whole look without using too much of the tool the whole look of the wreath comes really nice but like i said it's either way you can do whichever way you want to so couldn't get it out that's okay oh thank god it okay that's okay so okay. so that's how you start with the tools things leave it leave that it's okay. okay let's let's try so you did one first one like this right mm -hmm. like first one you did like this made it okay let's do one more and we can okay see see the difference what i'm talking about the covering of the thing like one here and this yeah. one covers it wider right can you guys see the difference right here between the two things see this covers more and this one is a little bit less right so that's why i like prefer this way taking it off is easy and then it covers more space so let's do one more and like i said we haven't fixed the length of the tools here because just you want it to look natural so here you go so after your first round is done then what should you do prisha then you can take another color mhm mm and then you can do the same thing mhm mm yeah and like i said we got inspired by keep on doing oh. while i'm talking <laughs> not do from here Do from here, yeah. While you can have, let your imaginations run wild. Pick up any color, any uh, like. For, if we are making for the fall, you can pick yellows, oranges, blacks, or the maroons, and even a tinge of greens and all. It will all look at the end of 
when you finish your project it will look beautiful believe me so just pick what you like what colors what inspires what what in the fall thing is that inspires you and let your heart go up with it okay so now see we did these two so you can see and these will all come out really nice so don't worry about this and then what we did was you can keep it this way you can add browns to it and then what are we doing Prisha? this one You're right this one. so like i said now you can see the difference in the fabric right like the tool fabric look at this this is soft and coy and this one is a little stiff now i don't know if it is stiff because it has these little foam things for glow in the dark or is it just because the fabric is not good but you can always then we are doing we did little bit of this and then the same way as Prisha showed you put from the loop add it I love this project because you don't need to make your hands get messy or even you can do with the little kids since this this does not includes any hot glue and anything like that so ultimately this is how your read will look like. Prisha, do you want to show the one that we completed? Yeah. Let's do that. And hopefully you guys will like it. And so this is the one that we completed. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how it looks like. I think it came out pretty nice. You guys tell us if you liked it or if if you start making a new read for yourself, do share what are your fall favorite colors and we will love to see your project completed and you can put it on instagram tag it as thoughts and more 09 so we can see it too and uh, do share your comments in the down below so that we know what all projects you will like to see right Prisha? yeah and so make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we post and make sure to share this with all your friends and family so hope you guys enjoy a fall making project until we meet again may peace be with us all om, om shanti, shanti.